Right, write down in terms of n the nth term of each of the following sequences. So what we have here is something multiplied by something. All right, the first thing I would look at there is look at your first number. Your first number is 2, 4, 6, and 8. So when you find the nth term, you work out what is going up in each time. It's going up in 2s. So because it's going up in 2s, you write 2n. And then you write the 2 times table above it. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8. So because it's exactly the same, you don't need to add or take away anything. So the first term would be 2n, and then that's multiplied by. The second sequence is 1, 3, 5, 7. This is also going up in 2s. So because it's going up in 2s, you're adding 2 on each time. That one is also 2n. And I write my 2 times table above it. But 2 isn't the same as 1, 4 isn't the same as 3, 6 isn't the same as 5. So you've got to take away 1 because 2 take away 1 is 1. 4 take away 1 is 3. So that one would be 2n take away 1. So your answer is 2n times 2n take away 1. Part B, you're working out what's going up in each time. It's going up in 5, so it becomes 5n. And how do, how do you get from, you write your 5 times table above this, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then you're asking, how do you get from 5 to 14, 10 to 19? You're adding on 9. So the answer to this one is 5n add 9. Simplifying, when you're dividing in, when you're dividing in this, you take the powers away, because on top, W to the 8 means you've got W multiplied by yourself 8 times. And then you divide in by 4 of them on the bottom. So what I can do is cancel them down and cancel the first ones, the second, the third, the fourth. And I'm left with 4, so it's W to the 4. But as I said earlier, a quick way, when you divide in the same base, you just take away. So 8 take away 4 gives me 4. Question 17, the diagram has got two similar shapes. Similar means, okay, that one shape is an enlargement of another. They can have the same angles, but the one there's a scale factor that works them out. You look what is similar about them. 4.2 and 3.36 are similar, right? This side, the shape one is bigger than shape two. So what I've got to do is work out the scale factor. So I'm looking at them two numbers because they are both given. So to work out the scale factor, I do the big one divided by the small one. So in this case, it's 4.2 divided by 3.36. So if you're doing 4.2 divided by 3.36, 4.2 divided by 3.36 is 1.25. So that means that the first shape, every side in the first shape is 1.25 times bigger than the second shape. So for this one here, I'm looking at x and 3.5. This where x is in smaller than 3.5. So because it's smaller, instead of being 1.25 times bigger, is 1.25 times smaller. So because I'm finding the side in the smaller one, becomes x is 3.5 divided by 1.25. All right, so 3.5 divided by 1.25 is 2.8. So this one is 2.8, and when I'm finding y, y is similar to 3.04. But because y is in the bigger shape, you times by 1.25. So it becomes 3.04 times 1.25. So 3.04 times 1.25 equals 3.8. So y, so x is 2.8 and y is 3.8.